Hello, welcome to this episode of Enamel Pearls. Implant placement is a daily part of dental practices and ranges from single tooth replacement to full mouth reconstruction. On this episode, I'd like to share five fundamentals of safe implant drilling. The number one most important tip for safe implant drilling is to use sharp, well-maintained drills. Sharp drills cut more efficiently, generate less heat, and require less physical pressure. On the other hand, dull drills cut slowly, unevenly, and generate heat. Remember that over 40 degrees Celsius, your bone cells will die. Make sure your drills are sharp by tallying how many times each kit was used. Check with your implant manufacturer to know how many uses a drill is designed for. For the Driva drill made by Zimmer, it's about 25 uses. By the same token, keep a few replacement drills on hand, especially for the first two to three drills in a sequence, since they are used for each case. These drills last a long time if they are maintained, but remember that the small diameter drills get a lot more use than the wider diameter ones. Also, if the drill is designed with internal irrigation, it is crucial to flush the internal irrigation canal with a small diameter syringe. If you don't, bone from previous cases gets stuck in the drill. Not only is that gross, but your drill will not cool as quickly while drilling. The second fundamental of safe implant drilling is depth control. You don't want to drill too deep. Using drill stops like the drill stop kit made by Zimmer frees up half your brain to think about alignment and angulation. To better understand using drill stops, go to our previous episode at Enamel Pearls. The third key to safe implant drilling is to use your team. Assistants are essential in implant placement. Use a second assistant to watch the implant angulation from the front of the patient. With three team members, you can triangulate the implant position while drilling. It is easy to drift during the initial osteotomy. Have each of the three teammates give final approval before the doctor finalizes the first few drilling steps. Each teammate has to agree that everything looks aligned before the doctor drills. Three heads are better than one. After the initial drill, make it a habit to check angulation and depth on an intraoral paraapical film. Don't forget to use floss or ligature whenever leaving a drill or depth indicator in the mouth during a radiograph. The fourth key to safe implant drilling is copious irrigation. Remember to use enough saline irrigation to keep bone cool, especially in dense bone. If bone is clogging the flutes of the drill, periodically have the assistant suction the bone off the drill so it can cut efficiently. Also, most drilling protocols recommend using a speed from 800 to 1200 RPM on the implant motor. Always check your settings and adjust as needed during the drilling. As you progress towards larger diameter burrs, you may consider reducing the speed so there's less chatter. The fifth key for safe implant drilling is to know the bone. You have to know the dimensions of the bone where the implant will go. Conebeam CT makes it easy to evaluate all the critical bone dimensions to select the proper length and diameter implant for each case. To see an example of how we use software to evaluate bone, watch our other episodes on enamel pearls. I hope you practice safe implant drilling. Safe. Don't penalize your patient by using dull drills. Don't drill too deep. And always use a team approach so your implants go in perfectly every time. For more clinical pearls, visit our webpage at www.enamelpearls.com.